Hey everybody, Ken the Surf's here and uh, we're in the shaved in. We're gonna do another shave. I'm laughing because this is my third take uh, at this. It's not Thursday, it's Wednesday, the 27th of uh, October, uh, my wife's birthday. So uh, I'm gonna be going out with my wife tonight and uh, some relatives, we're gonna go out to a nice dinner for her birthday and I needed to get a shave. And we just found out that there's actually a brick and mortar shave store uh, very close to us. So my wife went out there today to check it out. I was hanging out with a father-in-law. Uh, I took vacation for the next three days because uh, of my wife's birthday. And I got some new products to try. My wife went into the store, introduced herself. Uh, she bought, uh, <laughs> she, she uh, is helping local businesses. She bought some products and I've never used them. She picked them out. So uh, I'm going kind of blind today. But uh, I did look on uh, YouTube and I see Kevy has, uh, Kevy Shaves has done this. A lot of you guys have used their products before. It's uh, Mersol, and I believe it's from Spain. And this is actually a pre-shave that you can uh, use as a pre-shave or use as, uh, actually, you can put it on and shave with it. But I'm gonna use it as a pre-shave today. And she got the aftershave, same company. And she got it because it, uh, I'm going to verify this. Now, it's been a while, but that smells like Midori. If you uh, have uh, ever drank Midori, uh, that smells like Midori. My wife picked it out. So we are going to be using that as the aftershave today. And uh, she got from uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street some avocado shave cream. So I'm going to actually be using the avocado shave cream in the Van Ule bowl today. Now, I'm gonna bring out a razor I haven't used in a little while. Uh, Christopher Bradley uh, from uh, Carve Shaving Company, made in Canada. I've used this, whoops, dropped in all the paperwork. Comes with a bunch of paperwork. It's a brass razor and you can get different heads for it. And I'm gonna be using this one today. In fact, let's get that out of there. Look at the patina, nice patina. It's been a while since I've used this one. And I've got a Wilkinson Sword Gillette Blade to go in here. So let me uh, get this all set up and I'll tell you about uh, what I found out about this brick and mortar store that is very close to me. All right. Here we go. I'm supposed to, uh, we're going out to a nice dinner tonight, so I got to wear my black, I guess a, a black suit, uh, my daughter says. My daughter's scheduled all of this so father-in-law mother-in-law are here my son is going to be wearing you know black dress shirt black dress pants so tonight i'm going to be dressed in black so i'm not going out like this <laughs> all right so we're loading up the carve and it comes with a little bushing ready to go. All right. So I'm going to put a little pre-shave on. I'm going to wet my face a bit. And I'm growing out the goatee for November. It's three days away from November. Maybe it's, no, it's not. It's five days away from November. But I can't really grow a, uh, a pretty good goatee in one month. Sorry. Some of you guys can grow a goatee overnight. <sighs> Takes me a while. So I've got a, like a week's head start on it. So uh, I will be leaving the goatee, but I'm going to do the rest of the shave. So let's rock. Wet the face a little bit. Get some of the Marisol. Shake it up a bit. Get a little ready for pre-shave. Yeah. It's a wife interrupting me. What can I say? I'm gonna put a little more on it. A little extra on there for the pre-shave. All right, so I find out today that there's a brick and mortar store. Actually, I pass it every day uh, when I'm heading to work or if I'm heading down towards the beach. And it was like a boutique, a boutique, and now it's actually selling shaving products. And what I didn't know is my wife's going, hey, she, my wife reads Facebook. I, I have not been on. There's a shave meetup in Huntington Beach, Southern California, next month. 
and I had no idea about it. And it says PAA, Phoenix, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements gonna be there. Vendors are gonna be here giving away samples. It's gonna be a big meetup, dinner, uh, you know, food, drinks. I, I had no idea about it. So I actually called up Doug Smythe today from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements and he goes, yeah, I just, I, I'm gonna be there. And I, I did not know. So imagine they have a meetup in Huntington Beach that I didn't know about, oh man. Uh, if I would have missed that, it would have been a drag. So if you're interested, you're in Southern California, you're going to be in Southern California. They have not had a meetup, uh, a shave meet in a while. I think the Big Shave West two years ago was the last time uh, that they had some big, that I that I had heard of. So uh, it's nice to see them happening again. All right. So uh, I'll like I said, there will be links in this video if you want to come to a meetup see a bunch of uh, fellow wet shavers, get some products, meet the vendors. It should be fun. All right. Oh man, I'm late. I should have already soaked this in the crystal skull. I'm just going to dampen it. This is the uh, Ken Surf's winter 2019. I just wanted a nice synthetic today. So I'm cheating. I'm dipping it in the crystal skull right here. Yeah, I got to go into that brick and mortar store. Then I checked with Abraham uh, from uh, West Coast Shaving. They're aware of it. I, I, I hope I see them here. Uh, but man, a best kept secret. I would not have known about it if my wife had not uh, uh, told me. And I guess they've posted it on, so, on some of the Facebook groups. I said SoCal, uh, is it? Uh, anyway, I'll put links. And the owner's name is Ian. And uh, my wife said a super nice guy. In fact, I got an email from him too. So uh, just, just a few days ago. So uh, it's very nice to see a store I can ride my bike to if I wanted. And, uh, see some cool products on the shelf. Nice. I haven't used Tob's uh, shave cream before. I mean, I've used Tob's soap, but uh, not in a tube. Avocado, very cool. going to be uh, out of town this weekend. I'm going to be uh, going to Sin City, taking my wife to Sin City for the weekend, and uh, maybe I'll do a travel shave. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to take her to a couple of shows for her 50th birthday, so, and uh, her best friend's going to be out there too, so, with her husband, he's a nice guy, so we're going to have a nice weekend in Vegas. I haven't been there in a while. I hear you still got to wear masks in all the casinos, but because of the smoke, I do not complain. So I don't like that smoke smell. No offense to people who smoke. I'm just, my dad smoked crazy. I'd be in the car with him. He'd, he'd smoke two packs on our trips and uh, it didn't bother me secondhand smoke, but man, now it bothers me. <laughs> Mailman. Man, between the dog and my wife knocking on the door, I don't think I'm going to get a shave in today. Pass one complete. I'm sorry. It's uh, not the, not even the mailman. The in-laws are bringing in some balloons and the dog's freaking out. What an idiot. All right. The most unprepared shave I've done. Not really. I usually, uh, well, those products just were sprung on me. 
uh, about 10 minutes ago, so I had to had to read up a little on them. My wife goes, uh, yeah, this is shave cream. And I go, no, it's, it's not shave cream. It might be able to use a shave cream, but it's not shave cream, it's pre-shave. So uh, she picked it all out, so I can't complain. Actually, the, the aftershave does smell good in the, in the pre-shave emulsion. Very neutral. Yeah, neutral. Man, that is one heavy ass razor, I tell you. Whew, that is heavy. All right. Let's wrap this up. I thought my wife or my, my you know, my daughter and son are staying home with a dog. And I thought, aha, good luck. They're going to have the trick-or-treaters over for Halloween. But actually, we're coming back Sunday. So I guess I'm going to have to deal with it. The dog going crazy with trick-or-treaters knocking on the door every few minutes. I usually sit out front with the uh, Michael Myers outfit on and uh, the fog machine going. And uh, the trick-or-treaters are looking and I don't move. And then when they come close, I just turn. And, ah! So <laughs> I have fun with that. Maybe uh, if I have a video from the past of that, I'll, I'll put it in right here. <laughs> kind of wish Halloween was uh, Saturday because I will be there Saturday night in Vegas I can't imagine the nuts that you see in uh, Vegas on Halloween night the outfits especially downtown Vegas <laughs> I see some crazies out there when it's not Halloween all right we're in business. Yeah, I can see the shadow of the goatee coming in. Good, good, good. Now, for a fancy night out on the town, I don't know if I would have used uh, I would have used this, uh, but it's my wife's day, so all right, we'll 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 give it a shot. Happy wife, happy life. Little bit of a burn. Hardly a, hardly a burn. Smells good, though. Smells like Midori, though. <laughs> I spilled a drink on me. Hopefully she likes it. There we go. All right. Shave meat coming up. Shave store in, in Southern California. Another one. And my wife, uh, when I go in, I'll take video. And I'll show you guys. But uh, she said they have a bunch of products. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Matt from uh, Razor Emporium. I believe he's coming down to the meet. And uh, again, Doug Smythe from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. He's going to be there. A lot of vendors. I don't know of all the details, but I will put a link in this. You guys probably know more than me. So uh, I would have hated that to come and gone and me not know about it. That would have been, oh man, I would have felt like an idiot. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great week. We're only halfway through it. I uh, hope you have a great weekend, a happy Halloween. And I do look forward to doing another shave. I've got some products that, uh, uh, that have arrived. I've got new razors on the way. I've got a lot of items. In fact, I've got an item. Hold on, I'll show you this. Maybe yeah, I've got some items from Lather Brothers that I'm gonna be trying out. Uh, have you guys, uh, you guys heard of Lather Brothers? So I'm gonna be trying this out. I was gonna do this one today, but uh, it's raspberry. And my wife, uh, my wife said, no, let me go to the store and pick out a nice scented one for you. And that, we don't always agree on stuff, so I figure, let her pick it out. I'll do this next time. All right. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate your subscriptions. We'll see you real soon.